at night, a really fun thing to do in LA is to come to the top of um, Mulholland. It's really beautiful up here because it's, it's um, pretty with all the lights of the city. This is actually the view that E.T. sees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, the band name. We made an EP, right? Yes. But we didn't have a name for the band. No. Which So it was backwards. So we had to rush a name. We all had um, a list. Yeah. Nobody liked each other's names. No. Yeah. Hot sex was Hot one of sex them. with like three X's or something, right? I it liked like... it. I thought it was funny. We were a three-piece girl act, like uh -huh, her, three girls. And we all agreed on that name. And we thank PJ Harvey for all our efforts. She knows about it. She's well, like... Well, we heard she heard yeah. about it and she just felt bad for us that we had to say it. We've written a lot of songs when we're in the same city together from beginning to end. Some we've written separately and we bring it to the other person and then we finish it together. I mean, Cam definitely for sure is the producer of the band. I like to play with toys and instruments and, you know, kind of put it all together. We did the production, again, it was like the EP, we did it at the house and then we brought it to Al Clay who produced and mixed it. It was a really different process than that. Like it was super kind of pro and polished and um, and not very DIY style, which is kind of what we were used to. We've both come from like writing on our own and now we're having to come together and we're writing lyrics together, which I've never done. Um, so there's definitely an interesting kind of juxtaposition of, of two people's kind of own situations. <laughs> Some of the songs, I don't even know what you mean what you mean in them, like the parts that you did write, I'm like, hmm, and that's okay. Same. I think that's where, where we're an audience is coming from ultimately is not knowing those kind of things, so I feel the same way sometimes. Or just putting their own experience into it as well. Exactly. Which I think we do for each other. M my old band, The Murmurs, I was, you know, 20 years old. I'm not 20. <laughs> <laughs> so it, um, that band for me was a lot about Growing up, it was a lot about my experience with my best friend. Um, it was about not being jaded whatsoever and having really wide eyes at the world and just sort of experiencing everything like a sponge and not ever overthinking things or, you know, it was just, I just lived it as fully as possible. So this to me is, you know, the, the more grown up side of myself and um, I think about things and I <coughs> process things and I, you know, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just older in it. Ultimately for me, this has been kind of a culmination of all the other experiences I've been through. Um, just as a player and as a session person, as someone who kind of always created something but never had a voice. So this has kind of enabled me to do exactly what I wanted to do and that's amazing. I'm so excited that I get to do it. You know, I'd love to collaborate with so many people on Zimmer. I'd love for him to do like a string arrangement for some of our stuff. Johnny Greenwood, Radiohead, he's amazing. And Missy Elliott. That's a big one. We want to remix either Not A Love Song or Explode. Bjork. <laughs> Bjork. If I got in a room with her though, I'd be so terrified, I wouldn't know what to do. Axl Rose. <laughs> okay, well you guys have been great hanging out with us in LA. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. And I hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to go see our friends, Bathroom Murders, who are opening for us at the Roxy. And um, it's been great. Yeah, <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for watching. Uh, always. Uh, Well, on the L word, excuse me, do you have any girlfriends? That was wrong, Jeremy. He's a legend.